Hey everyone! Welcome back! I am back today with more Star Wars Visions, you guys. I cannot wait to see what is next on this show. I am really having the time of my life with it. I think it's a great way to see so many different genres and styles, um, all with like a Star Wars twist. And I think the stories have been really clever and interesting and I've loved getting to see more of these different studios and some of them you guys have brought to my attention are even like oh this studio did this and like there was one that did the rising of the shield hero which i've seen and i'm like wow cool it's cool to see how um the different studios have different um just very different styles and very different approaches to you know action scenery music everything you know um so once again, last time we got a very, kind of like a very different, um, the two that I watched were very, very different from one another. And I think I, I really like that because you're getting such a much different experience. Um, almost kind of, I hate to say like comparative because, you know, it's not that I'm comparing them, but it is interesting to see like, okay, here's one take on like this, this epic like space drama, this just crazy physics defying off the walls action um, versus, you know, one that feels much more grounded. We're really emphasizing the beauty of nature and the importance of appreciating like the energy around you and like all this very it's just very 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 different stories and also just very different approaches I think to how they're being animated and told and everything so I thought that was cool um I did decide that for today in fact I need to go and like amend my schedule now but um I think for today I'm just going to watch episode five because um, we do have an uneven number of episodes on this show, and I have been doing two at a time. Um, but the next one, I think, is one of the longest ones that we've had. So I'm like, I'll just do this one by itself, and then the rest of them are all kind of like, I think there is like one 20-minute one, but the rest of them are mostly like 15 minutes, 17 minutes, so it makes more sense to do those, you know, two at once. Um, and we are kind of at the halfway point of the series now, seeing as how there's nine episodes. So, you know, we can just consider this like the the hump day of, <laughs> of Star Wars Visions, so to speak. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed um, the uh, both the stories last time. Um, having this... Um, kind of kind of felt like another like wandering Jedi story you know the the latter one um but yet such a much different take on that um at times and uh, a few of you have come out to agree with me on this um it felt very Studio Ghibli-esque to me, just in kind of the way that nature was depicted and um, just even sort of the, just the vibe and the the clothing and, and things like that just felt very Ghibli-ish to me. And a few of you have said like, yeah, that, that kind of, I could see that as well. Um, and the first one, I guess, I had no idea just like how renowned that studio that did the first story was for um just like crazy um action and just really um almost kind of abstract I think sort of um visuals and telling of the story um they're both really really cool concepts like really cool stories but it is fun to see like how differently like a story can be told depending on how you decide to tell it does that make sense I don't know I feel like I'm sort of <laughs> just sort of mashing my words now but um but yeah I really really like them both um just two very different uh and it's funny because we kind of get a similar thing on Clone Wars. You know, one episode you'll be on this planet that has just like, you know, X, Y, and Z ambiance. And then the next one you're somewhere totally different. So it's, it's, it, it really, it goes with the whole Star Wars kind of, um, concept I think to do that but um I really like them I'm excited to see what's next what do you say we go ahead and jump into episode five of visions let's go he has recently begun mining for rare kyber crystals within his territory <gasps> like the same kyber crystals they have their own sinister plan to hunt all suspected Jedi 
and bring forth a new era of Sith rule. Oh, we get a little narration intro to this one. So they're trying to bring lightsabers and Jedi back and it's not going to be easy is what I got from that. It appears that you are all masterless Jedi too. Is that correct? Right. Each of us came here in answer to the same call, just as you have. So who called them? I call on the Jedi hidden across the galaxy. My who is, is that? Jedi. I am oh. the Rook, then I invite you to the aerial temple of Pai Tla. There I will okay. present you with one of the long lost weapons of the Jedi, a lightsaber. Got Join it. Me in the... Hmm. The real issue is whether this Juro can be trusted or not. I, uh, that's, I'm wondering about that as well. Cause like, I think they, I think they really want to do that, but I'm also getting Kind of a vibe. I see the seven Jedi have already gathered. That doesn't sound good. I mean, it's you really can't judge a book by its cover, you know. So I mean, let's let's hear let's hear them out. Let's let's uh, what do we got to lose? I mean, we got a lot to lose, but who is this? Hello. Already loving the poncho. Gotta say, I'm loving the whole look. Side ponytail, poncho. It's working for me. And there's crystals. We've had quite a bit of mention of the crystals throughout the series, haven't we? And there, that's how the lightsaber is born. Cool. It's awesome. And you don't get too much uh, like manufacturing lightsaber footage in, uh, in your main series, you know? You just kind of take it for granted. And it's there. Whoa. It's like, what is with that color? So you can change the length on this one? Huh. That's cool. Actually, I've tempered the kyber crystals on each lightsaber so it reflects the user's connection with the force. The color and the length will vary depending on the Jedi using it. So why is hers going sure back the and forth? Since the blade doesn't have any real color. Hmm. Oh. Have some natural talent. I wonder what color this lightsaber will turn when it's finally in the hands of a real Jedi. Aww. She'll get there. I promise. Uh oh. What's this about? Yeah, let's put, let's put these away. Let's hide the merchandise. Oh, wait, you're not going to deliver them? No, I'll be too busy looking after a new Too dangerous. Oh, boy. Dad, please don't die. Don't die, Daddy. Your daughter needs you. You love so much, Cara. That's strange. Like this is the last time we'll see each other. Oh, dear God. This Disney people, parents are always on the chopping block. I guess technically it's not Disney if it's this other studio, but you know what I mean. You have illicitly manufactured several lightsabers for masterless Jedi. And where exactly did you get that from? From the one who enlisted your services to make them. What? They've already been to the... Oh. Don't look back, sweetie. He why you got to get those out of there. I know. He's I know it's your dad. We don't want it to be in vain if you don't get away. I would like to see evidence of this before he arrives. Evidence. Yes, did the Margrave actually construct any lightsaber? It's funny you should mention that. That's gorgeous. That is absolutely beautiful. A lightsaber. A real lightsaber. Where are we exactly in the timeline? Because, like, they still had lightsabers in the later, you know, but maybe they're just super rare. 
It is their life's mission now to make sure that these lightsabers get delivered. Oh, wow. Oh, dang. Look at this animation, though. It's amazing. This looks very Attack on Titan-ish with all the... Uh, I know it's not the same studio that does Attack on Titan, but... Oh, man. She says she's going to get good with that lightsaber real fast. Oh, wow. This seems like it could be dangerous being out on this frozen ice scape. Oh, and we're not. We're just getting right. We're just getting right out on the ice. This seems very, very dangerous. Oh. Oh. Nice. <laughs> that's how that's done. This kid's a boss. A straight up boss. Oh, we having some... Some, it looks like coffee, but is it like fuel? <laughs> I need for you to take us to the aerial temple immediately. Look, let me enjoy a little bit more of my tea. <laughs> Droids love tea as well, or coffee, or whatever it is. He's on his break. <laughs> Jeez, this is kind of an emergency. They all look like they're on their break. Oh dear. Upset. Could you could you make it snappy, please? I know you're on your break and we're bothering you, but shoot. Just how long are we expected to wait here? See the thing is there's a delivery issue. So you're the one with the lightsabers then. Yes, but my father was caught mm -hmm. and taken away by the Jedi hunters. Okay. Please, please the Jedi hunters <gasps> your first mission is Jedi but, uh, where is the Margrave? don't put it don't Hold on. don't put it Do to you your face yeah, I, I've known him ever since I was a baby hmm. so can you I think that's what she just asked you, Something but. Right. And they're. Oh, why are they all red? Why are they all red? You're all. They're oh, not son. Jedi. Son of a gun. Oh, no. Your wait is over. Dang it. Oh, he's in there the whole time. So they're the bad. end to your pitiful plans of restoring the Jedi Order. That was a good twist. That was an excellent twist. They were all Sith, and he's the one trying to restore it, and it turns green. That was a very good twist. Oh, is it just me, or is hers getting a little bit more of a color in it? Perhaps. Yeah, that's a really good lesson in like, you know, yeah, he looked and sounded kind of scary, but this is the the Jedi, or at least Jedi advocate in this situation, as opposed to, you know, we have these individuals who look very, you know, look like they could all be on what we knew of the Jedi Council at one time, but looks that it's not, this can be deceiving. Well, what do you expect when you go up in there as a Sith? And it's, ah, ha, ha, it's turning green. Just who are you? Your worst nightmare. Oh, no. Juro. Oh, no. <gasps> Juro, no. Oh, no. Someone help him. Yeah, I started to wonder when she was like, I've known the Margrave all my life. So I'm like, okay, well, then he must be all right. Friend. Ouch. Gotta hear that back breaking. Whoa. What is with that? Oh, it's purple. It's, pur it's going back and forth between red and blue, so it's kind of purplish. Okay. Cool. Well, he's all right. I recently learned that a number of Jedi who answered my call were killed. 
and Sith were sent in their place. So I hid myself oh. and to turn on who was Sith. What about the other Jedi? I sense them. They are not lost. They're they are good. still wandering out there somewhere in the galaxy. Let's find them. Let's find the dad and find them, please. And thank you. So this one individual was just kind of Come. just got caught up. You Help special us peace to the galaxy and take your place as the ninth Jedi so we can reestablish the, the ninth Jedi. Jedi. I don't know if establishing Jedi Order again is such a good idea, but I respect that you want to bring peace and do so in a positive way. Nice. That is that look that looks that looks flipping fantastic. That looks great. That was a cool shot too of all of them walking out and the music. That is so cool. It looks like a big old lightsaber. <laughs> That's awesome. Whoa! So epic feeling with the music though. Wow, guys, that was really, really good. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, you'll have to clue me in on some of the other stuff that the studio has done because I'm sure if I know it, I'm going to be like, oh, my God, I could totally see how they did that and this. But I just love the style. It was very... We've had some that feel very, very grounded, like on a planet. We've had some that feel very, like, epic space drama. And this one kind of felt like a... Um, it took it took a lot of elements of like all of that. Like we had some really good like la actual like land planet based action, but we had a lot of good um, space action as well. Um, the music, oh man, whoever did the music needs a raise immediately. Th th it was really fantastic. It felt so epic and like this is the birth of something brand new in the Star Wars universe. I'm still trying to figure out the timeline because I know it's like after everything, um, but I'm trying to figure out like wh when exactly because lightsabers are apparently like not a thing anymore. Um, which makes sense because they weren't like really that big of a thing by the time we get to like you know, four, five, and six, and everything. It's not like lightsabers are everywhere, but I feel like they really emphasize here that, like, whoa, like, you could not even get your hands on one at this point. So I don't know if this is, like, a some nondescript war that happens way, 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 way after, or if they're talking about the actual, like, if this takes place during, like, episodes four, five, and six, that timeline, or maybe a little bit before then, um, or maybe like Mandalorian timeline. I don't know. It wouldn't be Mandalorian timeline because we know, well, I don't want to get into, <laughs> I don't want to get into spoilers about the sequel trilogy, but, um, well, and that was in between too. So Mandalorian was, um, yeah. When they said at the end, they're like, we're going to reestablish a Jedi order. I'm like, mm, that might be tricky. Um, again, I don't want to get into sequel spoilers, but I feel like, um, that's a whole other conversation for another time, but I feel like maybe that's not necessarily something that's always going to result in something positive. However, I do really respect what, um, this individual wanted to do for the galaxy, and I think it was an epic twist to have like all these Jedi convene in one place and it's like how do we know we can really what a great commentary on we have this character with the the cloaked character with the mask and like everything in your head is screaming Sith right and meanwhile we have like these baby face kind of Jedi looking you know they're all dressed as Jedi we got like the one dude's really rocking the Obi-Wan look and everything and it's like oh Hmm, but they dropped the little hints all throughout because as soon as she said like, yeah, I've known the Margrave since I was like a baby and, and like there was no red flag whatsoever that the Margrave might be a bad individual. And then all the lights, they did a really, really good job establishing the story as well. Let me just say, because that whole scene about um, it changes color and length depending on how strong you are with the force and what kind of person you are. Um... When all of them light up red, your mind knows exactly where it's going. Oh, that was really well done. So the one individual who had a somewhat bird-looking appearance um, was actually not with them. 
just like got clouded by the dark that I'm not super clear on, but, you know, a plus that the individual was not actually a Sith. Um, but, yeah, that was that was really good. I, I'm, I'm rooting for them. I'm rooting for them. Um, again, knowing what happens kind of after 4, 5, and 6, I'm wondering where this takes place because of the whole reestablishing the Jedi Order thing. Like, how... <sighs> I don't want to get into it, but um, just I'm, I'm always paranoid that somebody hasn't seen every single movie and I don't want to spoil it for them. Um, but I'm curious if anyone has info on that, clue me in because I'll be very curious to know. But that was wonderful. Boy, the acting in that was great. The twist was amazing. I loved I think the visuals were very, very stunning. Um, I really, really, the, the music made a huge impression on me. I think that was so well done. And the, um, the story itself was very interesting, but I think the twist is what really made it like, <gasps> there is a life lesson in there. Like, do not judge a book by its cover either way, because you never know. You might have some baby face looking Obi-Wan rolling up on in, and it's not. It's someone disguised as a baby face Obi-Wan. Uh, he really didn't look that much like Obi-Wan, but you know what I mean. Um, he kind of had a Qui-Gon-ish look as well. Kind of somewhere between Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon. But he didn't, you know. That's why you can't. You can't go just on looks. Um, and then the one with the scary mask ended up being the, one of the heroes of the story. So, I really like the girl. Um, she was cool. I, I would love to, like, follow her story more and know, um kind of her journey with the force but seeing as how these are little one-offs it's probably not going to happen but it was that good that I kind of want to like follow the rest of that story and see where it goes um all right guys uh that was great really really good at the end I'm gonna have to I'm gonna be forced to at least like rank them you know and pick a favorite but I'm gonna hold off for now because I've only seen half the series at this point um, but yeah, guys, next time I'll be back with, we'll go back to two and two. We'll do six and seven and eight and nine. Um, so that was great. That was so much fun. I love watching lightsabers being made. We need more lightsaber manufacturing stuff. Don't you think, don't you think that would look, bring your blood pressure down a few points to just like watch some YouTube videos of lightsabers being made? I think it would. It would do it for me. Um, some lightsaber ASMR. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm wrapping it up. I loved it. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.